Hello and welcome to my channel. I am Akram and you are watching Knowledge 360. In the previous video, I have already described regarding the global temporary tables or simply we can say temporary tables in Postgres SQL. In that video, I have told you that uh, in the next video, I am going to show you the uses of global temporary tables in Postgres SQL procedure or function or in any place. Okay. Uh, if you remember that uh, uh, we have discussed that global temporary table is uh, transaction based or session based as soon as the session is terminated with the data also the definition is also dropped unlike oracle the definition is not stored in the uh, database okay so for that uh, how we can use uh, the global temporary tables in our procedure or function let's see if you have missed that video you can also watch from the that video from the video description or i have also mentioned in the cards you can check out from there okay so i hope that uh, you are aware of the global temporary tables and the, the aspects the visibility and everything else so now what i'm going to do i'm going to create a stored procedure and i'll show you how we can use a global temporary table in a stored procedure within postgres sql procedure or function so let's start uh, I will write a stored procedure create or replace sorry create or replace a procedure and the name we can give like temp tables proc let's say okay and then uh, we know that we need to mention language plpg sql as this is the delimiter okay declare then uh, I'll declare one variable uh, I'll come when it is needed then uh, I write and okay this is the end of the procedure and the delimiter okay so within this we will write everything so let's declare one variable here what I need we count say it numeric sorry numeric size is 10 then begin okay within this uh, in oracle you must be knowing that in oracle plsql uh, we don't uh, have uh, we can't write the ddl statements like this we have to use uh, execute immediate as uh, using the dynamic sql so here also we can do the same but here we can write those detail statement directly so i'm doing it directly create temp table uh, as you know that here we can write temporary or temp there is no uh, change in the meaning okay uh, let's take one example temp table say and we'll use the same very uh, column that name character varying of let's say 100 okay and here for example let's say we write on commit uh, preserve rows as I had told you that this uh, doesn't affect anything uh, in our global temporary table when I'm writing here if I don't mention anything so it's by default on commit preserve rows if I want to do it on commit delete also we can say on commit delete rows or we can do on commit drop okay so what is on commit drop what is uh, on commit delete so all those things I have already described in the previous video I'm not going in into the details again okay so we can mention on commit preserve delete so this those things uh, doesn't matter here in our procedure or function uh, but uh, if you are trying to control the commit and rollback within your procedure so at that moment so these things uh, 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 really comes into picture so you need to uh, have idea on that how it works okay so now we have created the table let's insert few record insert into table name okay values uh, let's insert two values say Mumbai one city we are inserting city names another let's say Pune now what I'll do I have inserted two records into the table now I'll do select counter 
into the variable I have declared I'll put the value into this from the table name temp tables okay now uh, this variable should have the number of records we have in the temporary table okay usually it should be two because we are inserting two records here now let's uh, how we can see it there's notice we can say like this records percentage uh, if you don't know these things uh, these are to raise the notices in PostgreSQL I have already made this vid uh, video on this also you can check them uh, from my channel playlists okay so after this uh, we, the work is done now we can drop the table uh, I'll uh, this is the standard things there are lots of uh, uh, tricks and uh, twists we can do within this uh, I'll come to that once uh, we have seen the normal execution exception block when others then let's raise one exception raise notice error you can say okay what is the error error message we can like write like this substring okay within that sql errm simply this no problem okay we are raising the error now let's create this procedure okay the procedure is created and we can confirm the same from here okay the procedure is created now let's call the procedure call we know how to call it okay so uh, when I called this procedure what happened it created one temporary table here okay and then it inserted two records and then uh, what happened uh, we given the count here and then we checked uh, how many records are there in the table and finally we dropped the table so uh, all this happened now if we execute it again and again it will work same okay so as we know that temporary tables are not stored in the database we we can do like this also uh, if we write here on commit say uh, drop okay if we do on commit drop then also we, we can execute it and there will be no changes in our program logic okay and as we know that uh, okay in if in one session we don't need to call it again and again then also we can remove this statement because we know that global temporary tables in PostgreSQL are transaction based and session based as soon as the session is terminated the definition and also the data will be dropped from the table okay so we can do we can write like this on commit drop we can write on commit uh, delete rows on commit preserve rows so uh, those things doesn't matter here but in other place in the, the standard way that uh, we have seen in the last video there you need to remember how these things work okay so this much for the video I wanted to tell you and the same goes for the function I have given the example of procedure but the same goes for function uh, you can do all the operations that I have done here using the function okay so let's meet in the next video and I request you to subscribe my channel to get the updates and also you uh, you should like and you give your valuable suggestions and comments in the comment section and also don't forget to check out the previous video of global temporary tables where i have described everything regarding the global temporary tables concept in postgresql and how it is different from oracle database okay so let's meet in the next video till then take care bye bye